hello and welcome to this Business Central launch event session on the customer managed encryption key and lockbox settings. Um, these settings help you secure your environments if you have very advanced uh, security and privacy needs for your uh, environment database. And I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, these settings are administered in the Power Platform Admin Center. And for them to apply to your Business Central environment, you have to link your Business Central environment to a Power Platform environment. To link your Business Central environment to a Power Platform environment, you navigate to the Environment Details page in the Business Central Admin Center. And there, you can use this setting here to link your environment to any PPAC environment. Sorry. And there, you can use this setting here to link your Business Central environment to any Power Platform environment that's in the same region, in this case the US, and of the same type, in this case production. After you've linked your environment, you'd be able to see the details of your linked environment in the admin center, as well as the settings that are inherited from Power Platform onto your business center environment. In this case, that would be customer managed encryption key and lockbox. Um, firstly, the customer managed encryption key. This is a setting that administrators can use to encrypt their business central and Power Platform environment databases with their own key managed in their own key vault, rather than a key that lives in a Microsoft key vault. Um, to set this up, first of all, you have to link your business central environment to a Power Platform environment. If customer managed encryption key is already enabled on that Power Platform environment, it will automatically be inherited on your business central environment. If you have not yet enabled this on your Power Platform environment, uh, you have to go through some setup steps to do that. So to do that, you first navigate to the Azure portal, create the key vault, and make sure that this key vault has enabled soft delete and purge protection. This is to protect your key vault against accidental deletion and your customer data in your business central and power platform environment databases being encrypted permanently. After you create the key vault, you create the key of type uh, RSA with key size 2048. Um, and this is the key that will be used to encrypt your database. After you create the key, you need to create an enterprise policy resource which is act as the bridge between your key and your uh, environment databases. This enterprise policy must be in the same region as your Power Platform and Business Central environments. So in the example earlier, I had an environment that lived in the US. I should also create this enterprise policy in the US for CMK to work. After you've created this enterprise policy, you need to give it permissions to your key vault. So you give it the key vault crypto service encryption user role assignment. Um, and this will enable it to read the key so that it can then be used to encrypt your database. After that, you make an environment administrator. This is someone with an entry role that allows for administration of Power Platform environments, the reader role on the enterprise policy, so that they can then go on into the Power Platform Admin Center to apply that enterprise policy to the selected environment that is linked to your business central environment. After completing this last setup step, there could be some downtime on your business central and Power Platform environments. You enrich the encryption key that is used to encrypt your data gets re-encrypted with your own key. There's a few things that are good to know as you set this up. Um, the linked Power Platform managed environment is required. So there's no way to set this up for business central environments without linking your Power Platform environment. And if you unlink your environments, the business central environment will revert back to a Microsoft managed encryption key. So the link must be there to set it up and it must remain in place for that environment to be encrypted with your own key. To set this up in the Power Platform Admin Center, there are also specific licensing requirements in Microsoft 365 and Power Platform, and these will apply to your business central environment as well. Um, as you set this up, there is a risk of internal malicious actors if a single administrator has access to all aspects of setting up um, the customer managed encryption key. Therefore, we recommend that you separate these duties between different persons. In short, there'd be one administrator that completes the setup steps in the Azure portal and another administrator that completes the setup steps in the Business Central and Power Platform admin centers. Finally, we have some operations on your Business Central environment that would create a new environment, such as copy and restore, and we support the exporting of environment databases. For these operations, if you copy and restore and create a new Business Central environment, the new environment would automatically be created with a Microsoft managed encryption key. So if you want your customer managed encryption key to apply on your newly copied or restored environment, you'd have to link that environment to a different Power Platform environment and then apply the enterprise policy to your Power Platform environment. The export of environments um, creates a backpack file in your own storage account. This backpack file is also not encrypted with the customer managed key. 
That's it.